This is BreakFast, a segment about how long I fasted before breaking, how much weight I've lost since my last fast, what foods I'm breaking it with, and how many calories I consumed, how long my eating window was, my weight after refeed, how I'm feeling, and what's next. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to episode 33 of BreakFast. Today I am going to be completing my 38th, yes, 38th, 65 plus hour back-to-back -back fast that has now lasted me I think close to four months. It's been well over three and a half months. I can tell you that. Before that, I did 20, 90 plus hour back-to-back -back fast that lasted over two and a half months. And before that, I've just been consistently fasting for well over a year. I think I just hit a few days over the 13 month mark. Today though, I am gonna be completing a 90 plus hour fast instead of the 65s that I've usually been doing. The reason for that the reason for that, the reason for that is because I did not like the number on the scale. There's, there's no way around it. The numbers didn't drop to what it normally did during my 65 hour days or the, the day I end my 65 hour fast. And because I am like gunning for 125, I was like, okay, let's just go another day. Physically, I feel fine. Mentally, I feel fine. I don't. Like it wasn't difficult waking up that day, weighing on the scale and seeing a weight of 130 plus instead of the high 120s that I'm used to. I was just like, no, I can't. So I pushed it another day. Did I have to do that? No, I didn't. I could have like mentally just told myself, don't worry about the number. You're already at such a low weight, but something I'm fighting through, something I'm trying to figure out. But this is where we're at today. 125 is still the goal. Building muscle is still the goal. Getting back into the gym is still the goal. My actual goal was to hit 125 even before my birthday. My birthday is on December 3rd, so I still have quite a bit of time, but if I can get to 125 before then, like, great. And then I can figure out if I should switch from 65 hour fasts to 42 hour fasts. Still trying to figure that part out because I'm still trying to figure out my caloric intake. It looks like I can still put down around 6,000 calories, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but trying to figure that balance out and then the scale and then what happens when I start adding muscle and that adds more weight to the scale. Just trying to mentally prepare myself. So I'm gonna put this out there even though I've said this before, but I know that there are new subscribers that come in and they ask these questions. And so just because I eat 6,000 to sometimes 7,000 or even more calories during a refeed during my four hour window, five hour window, doesn't mean that you have to eat 6,000 to 7,000 calories. Just because I fast for 65 hours or 90 hours doesn't mean you need to either. The reason I fast for that long is because I eat a good amount of food. I have issues when it comes to overeating. And so what I do is I eat enough to satiate myself, but I fast for long enough that I'm always at a caloric deficit, so I lose weight. This method is something that I've been doing for 13 plus months now that works for me. What works for you could be completely different. You might not have to do a 65 hour fast. You might not have to do a 90 hour fast because it doesn't take you six to 7,000 calories to satiate you. Maybe it's only 2,000, maybe it's 3,000. So you can shorten that fasting length to make things a little more sustainable, a little more manageable so that you're able to continuously do this at a consistent pace, so you're always losing weight. With that being said, here is what I broke my last fast with. Probably sound like a broken record at this point, but I started off with a salad, half baby spinach, half spring mix, Caesar dressing. Actually, I used half light Caesar dressing and then the other half full fat Caesar dressing. The reason I did that was because I'm trying to save calories, but I'm also trying to preserve taste. So thought this would be a good balance. And then cheese, Parmesan, Romano, Asiago, and then croutons for a total of 820 calories. And then I had Brussels sprouts, roasted, seasoned. This was about a pound and a quarter, maybe a little less than that. 
two tablespoons of olive oil. I actually added some Parmesan, grated Parmesan on top of that, and a half tablespoon of balsamic vinegar for a total of 564 calories. And then I had two bananas, 244 calories, the bananas for potassium, let's not forget. And then I had breaded chicken strips. I was lazy, just wanted something quick and simple, but I ate this with ranch, honey mustard, and barbecue sauce. Also, these sauces are a mix of like full fat and the light versions, again, to try to save some calories, but this was still a good caloric amount at 1,605 calories. And then I had chips and guac, a good amount, for a total of 1,154 calories, and my sweet tooth actually changed just a little bit. I ended up buying a cheesecake. I was like really in the mood. I had a slice of that for 385 calories, but I still moved over and had pumpkin pie with whipped cream. I think this was about half a pie as I usually eat for 842 calories. And then I had two protein bars, which I didn't film. I thought I did, or maybe I was just tired. I couldn't remember, but 590 calories for a total of 6,294 calories. 6,300 calories is what I put down this time. And I don't know if that's what affected the number on the scale, but it wasn't by a lot. I was up, yes, a little bit, but it wasn't by a ton. And I let that I let that eat at me. I let that number like pick at my brain and say, Jerome, you're not going to get to 125 if you do this. Fast for another day. And I fought with myself trying to figure out if that's what I should do or I should have just done a 65. I don't know. But I did the 90. I got to a lower weight. And now I'm about to repeat that process again. Am I going to do another 90? Most likely not. Probably just push through another 65, but we'll see when that time comes. As long as I physically feel okay, mentally feel okay, like I'm, I'm okay pushing a little more if I have to. I'm not skin and bones. I'm not at like an unhealthy weight. A lot of people ask in the comments too. They're like, you're aiming for 125? You're a male. Apparently, males can't weigh 125, but... <laughs> I, I should add for people who do wonder, I'm 5'3". I am not the tallest person in the world. Well, let's be honest. I'm short. I'm a short guy. 5'3 at 125 falls into the, at least from what I see, the, the normal healthy weight range. How I eat 6,000 to 7,000 calories still in this frame, I, I don't know. I think it's just, I've been doing it for so long that I don't know. I honestly thought my stomach would have shrank enough where I don't get as hungry. But maybe when I first started fasting, like back when I was 220, back when I was 90 plus pounds, maybe I was eating more than six to 7,000 calories. I wouldn't be surprised if I was. I just thought in my head that that's what my normal intake was. Because I don't think I was really logging it to the T until like a few months later. But that but that was also because I was doing 168 hour fasts, 184 hour fasts. If you want a breakdown on that, I just posted a video for that, so I'll throw a card up wherever it goes up here. Otherwise, everything else is doing well. I'm still going for my daily walks. I've been doing push-ups. I use the one kettlebell I have. I have a 30 pound kettlebell that I can barely lift. After losing all this weight, I swear I was able to curl 30 pounds and I can't I can't even do that with that kettlebell. This is also why I want to go back into the gym so I can find weights that are more manageable. The weather's still okay to do my daily walks and I'm still aiming for that 125 number. I know I should really just be focusing on muscle at this point. Again, it's a mental thing that I'm trying to like balance out. Hopefully I can kind of like get myself out of that and say I'm lean enough Let's just add all the muscle that we can. Actually, I've seen a couple comments where some people have said that I might not even have to lower my caloric intake, even if I lower my fasting number, because if I start adding muscle, if I start working out, I might need to up the calories just to maintain that muscle, which could be a win-win. Add muscle, still eat more, but 
I need to find that balance. All right, few things to mention here before I wrap things up. One second. All right, this and this came in the mail today. This is a uh, blood pressure monitor. Sorry, I was reading to make sure I was saying it right. And uh, a glucose meter, a glucometer, or a glucometer. I don't know how it's properly pronounced, but I also got lancets and strips for this. And uh, this was given to me from Ingrid, and I don't know who sent me this. I don't think there was a receipt, unless this was also from Ingrid. I'm, I'm not sure, but I wanted to take some time and... Sorry, I'm putting these down. I just wanted to take a second and thank you guys for helping me out with the wish list for last week's stream, the donations, the support on Patreon. I, I'm like floored with all the support and encouragement and I, I just, I'm so thankful. I, I've been telling people like, I just, I can't believe it. You guys have been so... Like, I understand that, like, I'm trying to, like, help people and all that, but the the amount of support that you guys are showing is unbelievable, and I'm just so very thankful. With that being said, when I made that Amazon wish list, I put a bunch of different blood pressure monitors on there. I also put different uh, glucose meters, and I don't know if I was doing this properly, but I looked at that wish list and I think it's empty now. So I don't know if that means I'm getting multiple blood pressure monitors coming in, but if if they do, like I don't mind using multiple ones to test them out, but like I can gladly return them and, and send that money back however it works. I, I'm sure I could use two different glucose meters just to see if like they're similar and maybe the same thing with like the blood pressure monitors but i i just i feel bad because i i think maybe i did the wish list wrong and i should have just put one specific one i just didn't know which one to pick i was just going off of what you guys were like talking about in last week's stream anyway whatever comes in if that's what happened i just want to thank everybody and i'll make sure to to thank you when it does come in i am thrilled to have these now because now I can check my blood sugar, my blood pressure and record that and log it and actually see how it works during a fast, after a refeed, and it'll give me a good glimpse of where I'm at and where I need to be. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for all that support. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, I just, I, I don't know how else to thank you guys. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. If you have a chance and you haven't done so already, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. I try to post regularly. I do have Sunday night live streams where we have like accountability when it comes to fasting. And then I also have a Patreon for those who do want to support an additional way. You can go to patreon.com forward slash finally fasting. Otherwise, that's it for today. I will have another video coming soon. I don't know how soon, but it'll be coming soon. Please also leave a comment if you'd like, ask questions, leave accountability. I'll try to help where I can. Okay, I'm done. Bye guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.